What's up, my fellow stud muffin? Oh, yeah. Elite gaming athletes. Welcome to the video. Dude, I'm laughing because I'm thinking, how is Blame Truth and Nero's... 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 Cinema going to try to spin this video because last time this guy Tom Henderson made his, a whole uh, article and talked about how the people at Ubisoft said uh, X Defined is dying that uh, this dude blame LED Geico to Pedlin hair helmet dweeb of the year tried to tell you that hey I don't trust I don't trust Tom Henderson he's an Activision inside plant guys. Trust me, Call of Duty Activision is trying to sabotage X Defiant and Nero's, Nero's, Nero's X Cinema. Dude, these guys, these, these X Defiant fanboy delusional mongoloids out here. Oh my god. Well, listen, 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 listen. Hey, also, before we go any, any further, it's obvious I'm the best, the greatest, and uh, you haven't subscribed to this channel by now. Well, I don't know what in the flying fuck you're doing, kid. Hit that like button as well. Subscribe. It's free. If you change your mind, listen, it's free. Just unsubscribe, but you got to subscribe because you know why? Make a great decision in life. Your dad will be proud of you. And if he isn't around, he'll come home. But X Defiant is dead. It is facts. I know. I know. A lot of you watch the video. You know that already. We already realize that. We've already shown the stats. So it's funny, like, the delusion that people try to have that this game is somehow not going to be canceled. Uh, the Ubisoft stock is crashing. It is down over 60%. Ubisoft, uh, well, you know, hey, you go woke, you go broke. Uh, yeah, the, the CEO, all right? The CEO himself has said that X Define is not doing too great, guys. Ubisoft, CEO, all right? Listen, guys, I blame Tooth Nero Cinema here. Tell me something, guys. Oh, I'm so upset. Where's my cringe yelling? Oh! Um, I just can't wait to see the coat these re have to try to use to, uh, to, to try to pass this up. The CEO, all right, of Ubisoft has confirmed that X Defined is falling behind expectations amid company struggles. Right, Ubisoft is down 60%, 50%. People are getting fired. If you think they're going to keep X Define around when the company is losing money and they have to try to find places to clean up their whole, I guess, company, what happens is, is people get fired, things get canceled. Uh, the new Assassin's Creed has already been pushed forward or pushed back, pushed into the future, into 2025. Listen, listen, listen. If you don't think a game that is underperforming, that is not making any money, and all these nerds out here, listen, guys, X Defiant's amazing. Season 3, 4, 2, it's going to be great. They're doing all kinds of stuff. You don't need to believe. It's Activision's fault. Like, you know what? Listen, if you still watch these guys, that's cool. You're mentally challenged. This week, the news that X Defiant is struggling went somewhat under the radar. Not, not on this channel because we keep it real and pack the steel. One of Ubisoft's most challenging periods in recent memory. First, it was announced that Assassin's Creed Shadows has already said this because I'm way ahead of the curve, is to be delayed until early 2025, followed by several announcements at the company as a whole, including Ubisoft's board launching and an investigation of the company's struggles. They're like, hey, why is everything so bad at Ubisoft? Why are we losing money? Well, other gaming companies are soon to follow this. And the reasons is this, my fellow stud muffin gaming athletes. Because they hire people who suck at their jobs. They don't hire people who actually are passionate about making video games for the sense of making video games. They're passionate about putting and inserting their ideology and their politics into games. I mean, they tried to make some kind of Assassin's Creed or a game with a, a black guy or whatever. What the hell was that? It's like, oh, he's, 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 part of the, he's, he's part of the lore. No, he wasn't. Just nonsense, right? A bunch of damn liberal brain-dead mongoloids. As a part of these major announcements, Ubisoft held a trading call update during which Guillemot, Guillemot, bonjour monsieur, answered questions about what the company or why the company had reduced its second quarter revenue expectations by 30%. This is not good. This is not good. Like, people's heads are going to roll and uh, X Defiant is definitely on the chopping block. Nicholas Langland of BNP Penabas asks, so the Q2 guys, is it only Star Wars Outlaw or is there something else underperforming in the portfolio? Guillemot replied, it mostly reflects the softer than expected sales of Star Wars Outlaws. We also had behind expectations for X Defiance, which we will give you a bit more detail at the end of October, he continued. To a much lesser extent, with a limited impact, was a lower expectation for X Defiance. Mmm. 
Guillemont's comments are a stark difference from the company's first quarter sales report, where he reported that the game was off to an encouraging start. Yeah, it started off great. Like, of course, it was free to play. All the YouTubers, all of us, people, morons like us, were all up here. The COD killer, guys. This is the, could it be the COD killer? This new X to Fight game is being made by Mark Rubin. He's amazing. And then the morons over there at X to Fight made a first person shooter on an MMO engine with horrible net code. There was nothing to do. There was nothing to unlock. The grind is boring. The skill based batch making or no skill based matchmaking, the game pounds sand and it sucks a big one. All right, what do you call a black hooker with braces? A black and decker pecker wrecker? What do you call X to find a piece of shit? He continued to add to her that last month, Insider Game reported that X-Defiant was at risk of losing its much-needed post-launch support if it couldn't be turned around by the end of Season 3, as the game had been struggling to see 20,000 concurrent players and an upkick in player spending. The report and subsequent community conversations led to X-Defiant saying that the game, the game is absolutely not dying, in a recent blog post. Well, hey, listen, because you can't lie to your stockholders when you actually have uh, you know earnings meetings and trading and call updates, you actually have to be you know, forthright about that, otherwise you get charged for security fraud and go to jail. Dudes, listen, uh, they're not going to sit there and try to tell you, like Mark Rubin, listen guys, the game's doing great. No, of course they're not going to do that. Like I've said this before, they're trying to, you know, save the game. Granted, what they're trying to do though, is that they're not going to say the game's dying or it's going to be canceled. Otherwise, no one will play the game. No one will buy skins. No one will put any money into it because it's a game that's no longer going to have any future. So why would you buy anything or invest anything into something that has no future? Sort of like how people right now are buying stuff in the Battle Pass and buying skins in Modern Warfare 3, even though they don't carry over to Black Ops 6. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I don't know. Anyways, gamers are morons, but no one is a bigger moron than Blame Truth and his fan base out here. Listen, guys. Oh, I'm so angry. Oh, here's my outrage video. Oh, fake anger. Oh, fake mad. Oh. But whatever, it never go broke underestimate the stupidity of the YouTube audience. And then we got, you are cinema, guys. You, you, cinema. Yes, I am a conspiracy, guys. Actually, fine. It's going to be great, guys. I love it. Enter my creator code, Nero Cinema. Guys, I'm the best. You know I'm the best. I've been saying this since the beginning, saying it at the start, told you what was going to happen, and everything I've said about X Define and Call of Duty and everything in this world, every, I'm talking everything. I am Jesus Christ reincarnated as a Call of Duty elite gaming stud muffin. All right? That's all we got to know. Okay? Um, pump up the TRT, boys. Stop being... Hit that like button, subscribe. And last but not least, and most important, stay black. Question authority. Don't let the honky crack the red team shape shifter. Bill Blue's already making just a bunch of drafts. I'm going to be able to fake onto his words of Fox game. White man. Bring it down.